Hi, I'm Harold Bell, and this is the Legends of Inside Sports and the Way We Were. I will be doing a new series as we head into Black History Month for 2018. Why? Are we doing this series on a moment in black history? Because our children are not being taught our rich black history. Our rich black history is being oppressed. Our young people have no clue who blazed the trail and provided the opportunities that they enjoy today. They just think they fell out of the sky. You can look over my shoulder and you can see several of those trailblazers. Muhammad Ali, Dick Gregory, Jackie Robinson, Jim Brown, and the list goes on and on and on. For example, three black historical college graduates made NBA history in January, they became the first trio of graduates from a black institution to referee a NBA game together. The three worked the Phoenix Suns at the Denver Nuggets on Sunday, January 21st. They were C.J. Washington, Benny Adams, and Cortland Kirkland. This is another reason we should be celebrating Black History 365 days of the year. The opportunities have been few, far, and in between in the past 400 years. So it's nothing unusual for us to make some sort of history in America every day. But we are still looking for love in all the wrong places. The recent firing of Jason Kidd by the Milwaukee Bucks has brought black head coaches down to less than half. In 2011, we had 16 black head coaches. I have been covering the NBA, NFL, and Major League Baseball for 40 plus years. And the ongoing practice of pro sports franchises in America are similar to the plantation mentality of slave owners in the 1800s. We were the first professional athlete. The only difference today and back in the day is the players were 100% black. Thanks to Michael Jordan, if you want to thank him, pro sports franchises Ownership is at an all-time low with 99% of ownership being white. There are 90 pro sports franchises and only one black owner in 2018? There's something wrong with this picture. The recent firing of Dusty Baker by the Washington Nationals uh, was ridiculous. This man was a winner. Major League Baseball is down to one black manager and no black ownership. Dave Roberts is the head man in L.A. for the moment. Jim Caldwell was fired in Detroit. And now the NFL is down to five, six black head coaches. And Mike Tomlin could be sitting on the fence and on the way out. There are no black owners in sight as we head into the Super Bowl in Minnesota. What happened to the Colin Kaepernick boycott? During the wild card NFL games leading up to the championship game, there was hardly a whisper about the boycott started by Colin Kaepernick. The NBA with the firing of Mark Jackson with the Golden State Warriors the NFL firing of Tony Dungy in Tampa Bay, and the firing of Casey Jones with the Washington Bullets, they were all fired and, had, and were winners. 
all had laid the foundation of a potential championship. And all were shown the door before they could taste the fruits of their labor. Their replacements won championships almost immediately. When you stop and think about Mark Jackson in NBA replaced by Kerr with the Golden State Warriors, NBA championship almost immediately. Think about Tony Dungy replaced by Gruden in NFL championship almost immediately. And KC Jones replaced by Dick Marta, a championship almost immediately. You know, <laughs> when I think about the Boston Celtics and Red Auerbach giving K.C. Jones a second chance, K.C. was able to go on and win two NBA championships. And remembering the Celtics and my dear friend Red Auerbach, they were called by many blacks a racist team and organization. Nothing could be further from the truth. They were the first NBA team to draft a black player. The first to play five black players at the same time. The first to hire a black head coach. The first to hire a black general manager. Man, as we head into Black History Month, there is a need to think about what you're celebrating. We cannot take our eyes off the prize. We must remember the sacrifices of Jack Johnson, Joe Lewis, Jesse Owens, Mel Whitfield, Paul Robeson, Jackie Robinson, Kurt Flood, Muhammad Ali, and our Prince of Peace, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. Well, that's going to be it for this segment of A Moment in Black History. But I want you to remember, as we head out of here, that every black face you see is not your brother, and every white face is not your enemy. For more moments in black history, you can check out my blog, The Original Inside Sports, in blackmeninamerica.com. Until next time, I'm Harold Bell, and you can color me gone.